Yes, I had a pretty good childhood growing up in um, Carryong, New South Wales. Um, very sporty, athletic growing up, even with a limb deficiency in the right leg. So I was mainly into swimming and soccer and touch football and stuff back in those days, but then eventually started to transition into kayaking when I turned 14 and became Paralympic. Growing up, I spent a lot of time in the hospital with a limb deficiency. I had 20 major surgeries, so um, had mum or dad beside me every night in the hospital. There wasn't a night that I had to sleep alone through those younger years, so um, obviously they get thanks from me, but they weren't looking for any recognition beyond that, and that's the sort of um, judgments, um, principles they've inst instilled in me. I think resilience and hard work just doing what you have to do um, regardless of if you're going to have thanks at the end of it. Yeah, so mama didn't raise a bitch. <laughs> so I say that a lot in the gym with everybody else um, to all the other athletes. Um, and that's something that I tell myself in the water. They didn't raise a quitter, mum and dad. So just being able to push through anything that's physically possible is really what they've instilled looked through all the medical reports throughout the years and everything that actually went on in that leg of all the different surgeries. So essentially, um, I've got congenital fibular hemanilia, which is a very rare condition. I think it affects one in 20 million people. And most of those are um, very mild versions as well. Because when I was born, the doctors just said, he's got four toes. We don't know what that means yet, but um, we'll figure that out as time goes on. So. We're just wondering where that fifth toe went. Um, and then beyond that, just had many, many surgeries trying to lengthen that leg, get it back to the same length as a right, as a left leg. Um, and through that, I had a Lizarov frame on for 18 months, which um, that I was wheelchair bound with a Lizarov frame on. So that means that all the muscles um, degenerated during that time so I'm missing quite a few crucial muscles in the leg so I think most of my quads gone starting to build back the hamstring and the glute um, I had the leg broken multiple times with those um, metal metal bars in so what a Lizarov frame is is it's a big halo frame around multiple parts of my leg sticking metal bars into the bone stretching it so we didn't really get a good night's sleep for about that whole 18 months. Wake up screaming every night from and having to clean it daily from infections. But at the end of the day, it made me being able to walk. So that's the main thing. And now through all of the sport I've done, it's allowed me to better um, progress with the muscles and live a better life than I would have. Like chances are I could have gone back to wheelchair bound if I didn't um, go through so much rehab. So I had the Lizarov frame off from when I was six to eight years old. And the, f <laughs> the funniest thing about that, um, when I was eight years old, when I was getting ready to come off, the record for the longest time for anybody to have one on was um, 24 months, so two years. So I had mine on for 18 months and I was asking the doctors to leave it on so I'd get the record. Yeah, I guess I just wanted that competitive trying to get the record even with all the pain it was causing me and my family. <laughs>